Hey, good morning everyone and welcome to part two. Um, today we will be speaking about the rod and reel setups that we use here in Thailand and um, the setups that I will be taking with um, on this offshore trip this coming Saturday. So I will be discussing the rod and I'll also be speaking about the reels I use and why I chose those reels and um, I'll also be speaking about the line and the leaders. So let's get started. So for my slow pitch outfit, I decided to go um, with this Shimano Tranks. It's a high gear. It's the 300 H, uh, 300HG. And I got it spooled with Pioneer Alt Altitude uh, PE4. And I'm also using it on the underground Kraken P2 rod. All the guides are made from Fiji. I'm not sure if you can see it clearly. So this rod, um, you can basically use jigs from 80 grams to 200 grams. And the rating of this rod is PE1 to PE3. Okay, um, but like I've mentioned, I have PE4 Pioneer on here, the braid. Um, this is due to the small diameter of the braid, so PE4 is perfect. Then for micro jigging, I have prepared my uh, Shimano Naski with uh, 0 0.8 PE and I have it paired with the Zen Zagen uh, drop flick. Um, this rod is extremely light for jigging the whole day if the bigger fish are not biting and um, the jigs you can use with this rod is 10 grams to 60 grams. It has a very sensitive tip as you can see the handle is also made like from a carbon fiber so the rod is extremely light and has beautiful finishes and all the guides are also Fuji guides so that would be my light jigging setup and then we'll be moving it up a level this is my Shimano Twin Power XD 4000 I got it spooled with um, Pioneer Braid um, Pioneer Altitude uh, PE2 but the braid is super thin so this braid is very durable very slim very sleek I just love it and I got it paired to the Zagan Tai Chi so the reason why I love this rod is because it's very, very versatile. Um, it's rated for up to 130 grams jig for fast jigging. And if you do slow jigging, uh, you can use jigs of up to 300 kilos with this rod. And it's once again, very, very light. So this combo is a killer combo and um, it's meant to get some really big fish so hopefully this weekend I can use it and um, and put it to the test for you to see if we can get some monster fish or not and then the last setup that I'll be speaking about is the this is the Zen Zagen um, offshore rod um, its rating is um, PE4 and it can cost 50 grams to 90 grams so this is like perfect for minnows of 40 grams and your poppers for about 60 grams that I'll be using this weekend and I got a pair to a Shimano uh, Saragossa uh, Shimano Saragossa 5000 and I'll be using this for for popping and for stick bed as you can see it has a Z at the bottom for Zen Zagen and this rod is also a two-piece which makes it really portable for traveling 
and it makes it very very convenient and I am the PE on the Saragossa I'm currently using PE3 and um, I decided to go with a different braid just because I need a little bit thicker diameter um, because I'll be using it for popping so I'll have to keep on pulling the lure through the water so those are the four setups I'll be taking on this trip um, there is one more rod that I'll be taking it's the Pioneer altitude um, PE2 to PE5 um, this rod I'll also be paired with a Pioneer altitude reel um, 5000 this I will use mainly for bottom fishing so that's just like when you attach the sinker and you drop your sinker and your hook down to the bottom with maybe a shrimp or some fish as bait um, most of the time we don't really enjoy bottom fishing because there's not a lot of action um, because it's, you just have to wait for the fish to bite but um, you know, we, we're going to try everything we got like I said I'm going for 4 days, 3 nights in the water um, going to be sleeping on the boat, going to be living on the boat for 3 nights so very very excited but scared at the same time but I did buy a life jacket as well just to make sure that I'm safe you know safety first and um yeah that's that's a little bit about the rods and reel setups and how i pair them together the next setup will be about like some safety gear and some terminal tackle and um, things like that they can help you um, what can help you when you go fishing here in thailand because as you all know thailand is very very hot and you know some days you're just standing in the sun from maybe six o'clock in the morning up until 10 o'clock you know in the evening so it's like the whole day of sun so um, there's a few ways that we look after ourselves as well um, like preventing heat stroke so thank you for watching this video I hope there was some useful information um, stay tuned for part three and um, like I said before I will definitely make a video about our trip and then you can ask some questions and then um, I'll get back to you about the trip and the pricing and things like that as well. Okay, thank you everyone and may you all have a blessed day and yeah, I hope you can get out this weekend and go do some fishing. Cheers.